Good morning my friends, my name is Fabry and this is the LEGO Star Wars 7 First Order Transporter Trooper, set number 75103, 792 pieces. This is a great set, it's simple, it's a fun build, it has a great minifigure selection and the perfect price tag. Let's build it, shall we? Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping and so alive Life is happy but it's so insane This is Captain Phasma. I really like her mental armor. She has a long black and red cape, but not in the new fabric material. It's a shame that she has a black head instead of Gwendolyn Christie's. She also has a new blaster in a brand new grey metal color, which is nice. The printing is the same of the regular trooper, but has opposite colors. Even if she doesn't do much in the movie, it's the drive for this set, and one of the best minifigures of this year. Its price has gone wild on eBay, so this set is the best way to get her. Then we have two regular troopers, with the white armor, same as seen before in the color and shadow. A brand new gorgeous helmet, but unluckily they have on head, even if they are not clones. These are the flame troopers. They are exclusive for this set, with a nice new molded helmet. But I really don't like the work made with the flame thrower. I would have prefer something better. The back printing is beautiful and unique. They have different armor printing from the regular first order troopers. We have resistance soldiers with also near dark metal blasters, otherwise they aren't so good even if the printing is quite unique. The design job was pretty good with a lot of details on the front, on the sides and on the back. This medium sized transporter packs tons of play feature. You can pull the handle and open the front door and land all your troopers. If you want me to explain how to turn red the lights inside, go on the subscribe button. The engines are simply stunning and easily the best part. But I have the feeling that something is missing below them, don't you? You can lift the roof, revealing an empty space where you can store up to 6 minifigures. This ship is heavy armed with two spring loaded shooters and a double star shooter turret. You can command it from the inside and open up the flap to surprise rebels. There is room for one minifig. And this is the control panel. And these are the controls of the pilot. There are four clear pinning wheels and the ship seems to fly over the ground. And that's all for now. Tell me your opinion and questions. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please take three seconds and go Kylo Ren! <laughs> on the subscribe button for more LEGO reviews and be sure to check out the drop tests coming next week and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come